How's it, Indian Cowboy? DocSports.com. Connect on Thursday, February the 16th, as we get this video to you every day around this time. Hello, I'm Indian Cowboy. This is Doc Sports Indian Cowboy. The algorithms of Indian Cowboy have been around for 19 years. Doc Sports has been around for 53 years, it's been around a long time. I have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics. That's how these algorithms work. And uh, welcome to my podcast here. Uh, what do I need to tell you here? Um, yeah, so our best selections are at DocSports.com under Arun Shiva. Our next best selections are our YouTube premium selections, which we give you two extra thoughts every single day. We went 2-0 and yesterday as well. Um, yesterday on the YouTube premium, it's our teaching channel. We kind of tell you how to look at ball games. Uh, it was Houston, Oklahoma City under, and the Tennessee uh, Volunteers uh, as a lean, which was a winner too. On That was on Wednesday. On Tuesday, we gave you the Raptors, a winner. Kansas State, Oklahoma over, win. That was a lean. On Monday, we gave you Texas Tech, which was a win. And then we gave you a lean on Howard, which was also a win as well. Pretty wild. So 3-0 this week already when it comes to YouTube Premium. 70 and 33, 70% for six uh, for uh, for almost four months now, which is uh, for three and a half plus months, which is pretty wild. This video is going to have even more content. It's going to have about six games. thought I'd give you more games. I didn't do a live show yesterday, but going to go ahead and give you more games today. But uh, yeah, all that for just $20 a month. You get two extra thoughts every single day where we kind of teach you how to fish. And then our final best selections are free picks and leans, which we share with you right here every day. If you want even more content, be sure to check our Twitter, has our consensus reports, our trends on late night ball games, and our hot takes on sports. What do I need to tell you? Nice four unit winner yesterday on Northwestern and Indiana under the post total yesterday. We have a six unit college basketball selection, or five unit college basketball selection tonight at 11, six unit NBA selection tonight at 10, 15 and six, 19 and eight college basketball run for plus 55, 10. And um, NHL two selections tonight. We won on Tuesday with the Jets three to two. Soccer uh, four unit selection as well. UFC four and one for plus fifteen twenty recently as well. All right, let's get to your uh, your free play today, and it is going to be on uh, Washington the Wizards plus the points here against Minnesota in a game I think they can win outright. You can find Washington around plus three. Uh, I have them winning this game outright. Remember, Washington is fully healthy right now. We have them covering by six, so we have them winning by three and therefore covering by six. The Wizards are three games under 500, so they need to win every game that they possibly can. Minnesota is up uh, by two, meaning two games above 500. Washington beat this team 142 to 127 last time. And I, understand, I understand Minnesota has revenge here, but the public is all over Minnesota to the tune of 72%. Washington beat Portland by 25. They beat Indiana They beat Sh and uh, Charlotte. Minnesota beat Dallas and Utah recently, and Gobert went 9 for 9 in his last game against Dallas. But Gobert is listed as questionable for this game. And Washington on the road as a dog, as you know, being as a public dog, uh, they've actually done really well if you take a look at it. Washington, I believe, is, uh, yeah, so he, Washington is 6-2 and two ATS in their last eight road games, and Minnesota is only 0-4 is and four ATS coming off a straight-up win. So like Washington plus a three. I also like uh, Maryland plus the two here. I'd like the, I like Maryland to win by two, so calling the upset here for an outright win. Purdue beat this team by three points last time. Purdue has not lost back-to-back -back games all year, but they have lost at Indiana and Northwestern uh, the last two games on the road. Can Maryland really win at home? That is the question. Uh, Maryland is 8-6 and six in conference play, which is pretty good considering it's Big Ten play. Um, they've won against Indiana and beat Miami of Florida, who is a top 25 team. It was top 15 now, I think. I think Maryland does well, actually. I can see them upsetting Purdue. And Purdue's 0-3 ATS of late when they face a team with a winning percentage of 60% or more like Maryland. I also like the Bucks as a uh, minus the points today too. By the way, YouTube Premium today is between uh, Colorado and Arizona State and Ohio State and Iowa. Could go 8-0 no this week on YouTube Premium, so we'll see what we do there. But the Bulls won by 6 points and 5 points before that. The Bucks have not beat this team in back-to-back -back games, mind you, so the Bucks are going to come in uh, pretty motivated. The Bucks have won 11 in a row. They have the longest winning streak in the NBA. They're trying to make it 12 in a row here, and they have national attention. Coming off that exciting win against the Celtics, the Bucks, the Bulls have lost five in a row, so maybe they get up to face the Bucks. Um, and maybe this is their kumbaya, their Super Bowl, if you will. Um, but DeRozan is not supposed to play, I think. And I think the Bucks probably roll here. I think they have them winning by 15, covering by six and a half points. The Bucks have covered their last five road games, by the way. And this is a Chicago team that lost to Brooklyn and the Magic lately, and they're struggling bad, bad, badly, so I'm going to go with the Bucks. I also like Arizona minus the 10.5 here. 
I think they win by 15 and cover by three and a half. Remember, Utah won by 15 over California, beat Colorado by 11, won five of seven, 10 and five in conference play. Arizona has revenge. They were one of the few losses they had this year was Utah beat them by 15 last time. Arizona lost to Stanford, and now they come back home. So now they're coming off a loss, and they have revenge. I think they should be good here. Utah is one and four ATS against winning teams at home. I know Arizona is a road favorite here oh, sorry is arizona a road favorite or a home favorite give me one second here I think they're at home right is that why yeah they're yeah so i like arizona minus the 10 and a half have them winning by 15 coming off a loss and having a little bit of ren revenge i think they uh they'll be okay here again utah has struggled against uh winning teams on the road at one and four ats i like middle tennessee state plus the five here i know it's a it's an ugly take florida atlantic is such a great team in the top 25 team florida atlantic beat this team by 18 last time florida atlantic is a top 25 team only a small road favorite though so why middle tennessee state has a ton of revenge middle tennessee state was just routed by um uab in their last game 69 to 92 so they have to show some pride they have to bounce back right florida atlantic continues to play very hard and very well they nearly lost at home to Louisiana Tech, so I think they'll be motivated too, no doubt, because whenever they have a close game, they bounce back really well. But I'm going to take a shot on Middle Tennessee State plus the five to show some pride here coming off one of their worst losses of the year. Finally, I like UCF and in Memphis under the post a total. You have a 15-9 team here facing a 19-6 and six team here. Remember, this team beat... Uh, UCF beat this team in overtime early this year, so Memphis does have revenge. That game went to over 200 points, even though it went to double overtime. Uh, I can't go against either team here. UCF is coming off a loss, but Memphis has revenge. But I do think they're going to play quality defense, both these teams. And uh, these are two winning programs at the end of the day, and therefore I like the under between these two teams. YouTube, hope you enjoyed the content. YouTube Premium, I'll see you in five minutes. Indian Cowboy, working hard for you every single day. Six-unit NBA and five-unit college basketball tonight.